of your life. So the first question, and this is group participation right now, pew to pulpit. How long is God going to love you? Brother Ben, put it on the screen. You have one choice. There's your answer. Everybody shout it out. How long is God going to love you? All the days of my life. All right, now shout it out like you mean it. All the days of my life. All right, here we go. You keep shouting it out as Jonah plays. How long is he going to love you? All the days of my life. How long is he going to keep you? All the days of my life. How long is he going to look after you? All the days of my life. How long is he going to protect you? All the days of my life. How long will he provide for you? All the days of my life. How long is he going to show mercy? All the days of my life. How long will he extend grace? All the days of my life. How long is he going to be your friend? All the days. Salvation. All the days of my life. Hey, Brother Jonah, 
I know there's been some things that nobody planned on. Right. You've, you've, you've planned your way through them. And what I want to know, Brother Jonah, is how long are you going to keep playing that piano for the glory of God? All the days of my life. All the days of your life. Hey, Brother Joe Brown, I know that you're not a young man anymore. I know the knees hurt, the body aches. I know that when you go to do all that volunteer work that nobody else knows about, it bothers, it weighs you down, it hurts, but you keep doing it. You keep doing it because you love Jesus and you want to spread the love of Jesus Christ. So what I want to know, Brother Brown, is how long will you keep spreading the love of Jesus Christ to a dark and dying world? All the days of my life. I like the way he said it. All the days of my life. Get ready. I'm coming down here. Hey, Brother Leo, I got one simple question for you. How long are you going to keep working on the building? All the days of my life. All the days of his life. Hey, Brother Chris, I know you got a big family, lots of kids. They're dragging you in a thousand different directions. I only got four, I know what it's like. There's soccer, there's probably all kinds of things. School, homework, someone needs help with history, math. What I want to know is how long you're going to keep playing those drums for Jesus. All the days of my life. All the days yeah. of his life. Hey, there's a group boy. Hey, Sister Des is in the back, Brother Max on the pulpit. Sister Amy, Sister Natalie, Sister Nancy. I know it gets hard in those Sunday school classes. I was an ordinary little kid back there. Everybody wants to pull her with the red crown. Susie don't like to drink. Jimmy don't like to snack. Johnny's in the corner showing Roy how to do the stone cold stunner. You can press me to get him in line. But hey, what I want to know is no matter how frustrating it gets, Sunday school teachers, how long will you keep shaping those young minds to love Jesus? Shout it out! All the days of their life. Listen, I know, Brother Austin, the voice gets raspy and hurts every now and then. Yeah. Teach, us, teach a class of kids all day at the school. They come here and pour out your heart to these people leading them in praise and worship. How long are you going to keep leading us in worship? All the days of my life. All the days of his life. Yeah. Hey, let's get real personal here. I know all about this one all too well. Let me move this out. Sister Brenda, we got a little connection. I don't know if you realize it, but I know what it's like when the rock of the thing, when the pillar passes away, when the one you know is praying for all your lost loved ones is gone, and it feels like the weight of the world's been dropped down on your shoulders because it's you and you alone now. But I want to tell you something, Sister Brenda. God didn't take Moses till Joshua was ready to leave. So what I want to know is, how long will you keep praying for your unsaved family? All the days of my life. All the days of her life. She's never going to quit praying for her family. I can just keep moving through the room. I know God's done something for every single one of you. Every single one of you have something that you need to keep praising God for all the days of your life. He will be there for you all the days of your life. We all have families. We have young kids that need us to train them up in the way that they should go. God will always be there. Regardless of where you go. Why? Because he loves you. It's promised to you. The God that can't lie promised it to you. The God that can't change promised it to you. The God that can't fail promised it to you. I know. I know sometimes it gets hard. Amen. It was, if it was easy, there'd be a lot more people doing it. Yeah. But God loves you. He's going to be there for you all the days of your life. He's going to be here all the days of my life. He's going to be here for evening light apostolic all the days of your life. He will never fail. He will never quit. You're not ready, Brother Austin. I'm almost done. I'm going to, I'm going to close it. Brother Austin's going to sing. Here's what I want to do right now. Listen to me. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, let me help you. Let me help you right now. He's going to be there all the days of your life. All he wants to know from you is will you be there all the days of your life? Will you, will you give him all your heart and soul? Will you make him number one in your world? That's what he wants. And mine always said he's not playing second fiddle. It's his way or no way. It's you and him first. Everything else comes second. I've told you before I love my family more than air. 
itself. But every morning I put them on an altar. I'll give them to God every day. If it's between him and them, you can have them. I'm sticking with Jesus all the days of my life. He'll be there for you all the days of your life. All you have to do is come to an altar of repentance. Don't even repent. If you've already repented, just come to the altar. Tell him I'll love you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. Slip your hands up toward heaven and just receive the free gift of Holy Ghost that he's giving you. It's that simple. Just love him all the days of your life. And listen, all of us, every single one of us, I don't care if you've had the Holy Ghost for a hundred years or one day, you're going to mess up. You're going to make a mistake. You're going to find yourselves in moments where you just don't know anymore. I'm confused, Jesus. I don't know why this is happening. I don't understand your will right now, Jesus. But I promise you, he's going to be there for you all the days of your life. He cannot change. He cannot lie. He cannot fail. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the Lord, and he changes not. So he will be there for you all the days of your life. Sometimes we just need to remind ourselves of that. We need to come to an altar. We need to remind Jesus of that. I'm here, Jesus. I don't know how long it's going to take for my unsaved family, Sister Brenda. I'm praying for him like crazy. Daddy's not here to do it for me anymore. i got to bear that burden, but I'm never going to quit, God. I don't know what takes them so long. I've talked to them. They know they were raised in this, yet they're still not here, and I get frustrated. And sometimes i just got to find a place and say, Lord, and he just says, all the days of your life, kid. I'm going to be there. I'm going to answer those prayers. Those promises are coming true. I've never lied. I've never told you something I'm not going to fulfill. So if God told you he's going to fulfill that promise, he's going to fulfill that promise. Just remember, all you have to do is let him know, I'll be here, Jesus. I'll be here serving you. I'll be here worshiping you. I'll be here waiting for your answer, waiting for you to deliver on the promise. All the days of my life. Go ahead, Brother Austin. Amen. The